Okay, everybody, welcome. This is uh, going to be SAM Project A for Module 4. So I'm going to do my best to try to go through everything as clear as I can. So the very first thing I did was obviously open up the instructions and the file to work on. I'm going to get a warning when I change it because I've already done this. So what I'm going to do is hit F12. That is my preference for saving a file with a different name. And I'm going to just resave it and changing the 1 to a 2. I'm going to get a warning that it already exists. That's okay. So I'm going to answer that question. Yes. So that was the preliminaries over here. The project steps is Luis is a manager of two branch offices for a consulting group in Texas. He's been tracking their sales, revenue, expenses, and Excel workbook, and includes charts to help him visualize the data. And because you're so good, he's asked you to help him format the charts. So the first instruction is to go to the January to April revenue. And you can see we have a stack by bar chart over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to format the chart title as follows to draw attention to it. So they want to change the border uh, to blue accent too. So first step is to click the border. And there's different ways to do it. So one way is to click over here. And we can do the chart elements. And we can do the border, the title, and format it. An easier way to do it really is to just click over here and let's go to chart design and or format and we can see the shape outline over here. So I'm going to click on the shape outline and it wants us to do blue accent sick which is closely the 10th column and over here. So let's see if it actually worked. Yes it did. There's other ways to do it. Notice that you can click over here and choose Format Chart Title, and then you have Fill and Border. So it should already have changed over here. Either way is okay. If you want to change the width of it, you have this option right over here. So we want to apply the Offset Shadow Effect for the outer group of the shadow. Well, there's different ways to do that. So let's go to the Shadow Gallery and see what we can find out from that. So how do we do that? Well, remember, if you don't know how to do something, try to think of what you're doing. So we're going to put on a shadow effect. So let's see if that could be possibly text effects. And there's something that says shadow. So let's go in here and choose shadow. Then it says do the, the outer group and we want the offset center. So here's the outer group and offset center. So let's select this first just to be on the safe side. And we'll do the text effects and we'll do the shadow and let's find offset center. And there it is. Okay, it does, you can see it a little in here. It's not actually crazy, but it does pretty good over here. So that's nice. So now the problem is they don't specify if you want um, the text or it itself. So, but that's okay right now. So let's make the chart values easy to read, to interpret it. We're going to remove the primary grid lines. Remember, there's more than one way to always do anything. I always click on the chart elements in here and we see grid lines. And it wants us to remove the primary major vertical. So this is this over here, and we want to add the primary major horizontal. So here is the primary major vertical. And let's add major horizontal. Okay. And that changed the grid lines here. It's a little hard to see, but they're there. And let's... Let's go back and do this over again. And so you can see the difference. So let's go into grid lines. And let's put in the major vertical. And you can see these over here. And we'll get rid of them. And they're gone. And let's get rid of these here. It's hard to see them. 
but they're actually there. Okay, now, let's go back and look at the next step. So we want to add a primary axis chart title. So again, we're going to be clicking on, let's get rid of this over here. We're going to be clicking on the add chart element. And here's our axis title. So we want to add a primary horizontal axis title. So here's our primary horizontal axis title. And we're going to enter as months. Oops, didn't want to move it. So let's put in months. And notice that it came out all capitals. That's okay. Then we want to change the font to Tacoma or Tahoma, however you pronounce it. Right click. And here is your font. And we want to change it to Tahoma. If you don't have it available right at top, just start typing in. And as soon as I hit T, it went to Tahoma, which is fine. And change it to 14 point. Well, that's too hard. Let's do this here. Okay, boom. All right, so now we're good here. We're going to go to the Categories, um, Categories Expenses Worksheet, and I'm going to save this here. And we have a 2D pie chart. So what we want to do is apply this the Style 5. Now, be very careful. That's not the quick layout. It's Style 5. So let's see if we can find five, two, three, four, and five. That is number four. And we're going to move the chart legend to the right position to provide more room for the data. So you'll see this here on the right. So again, we're going to go to the chart title and the legends. And let's see what we have here. And we want it to the right. That's pretty easy so far. Hopefully you're following along okay. Louis can see the employee salaries are the largest expense at 32%. So we want to explode that. Now, here you have to be careful. You might explode the entire pie chart. So click in it and notice how these other ones are selected as well. We don't want to do that. Let's just click one time here and that'll be it. Uh, that'll be exactly what we want to do. So how do we do this? Well, let's right click on it, choose format data point and see what we get. And we have a point explosion, which I believe they want 7%. So let's just change this to seven. And once you hit enter, only this slice here should disappear, which is good. If you see everything going out, then you have to get that undone and just select this over here. All right. So go to Profit Analysis Worksheet, which is this one here. And we need to the cluster column chart in the worksheet. How's the brand? So resize and reposition it. So it's an H2 and it's lower right corners within cell S21. So let's go to H2, which is right here. And we want S21. So be very careful. If it's over S21, you'll get marked down for it. So let's just resize this this way and move this down to just before the marker. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to move it up just a bit. Now, if you're having trouble finding where it is, zoom in and move it up just a tad, and you should be good there. Okay, so we'll go back to normal. And we can always zoom in out later on if we need to. All right, so that takes care of number seven, number eight. Identify the purpose of the custom card chart by entering January to April expenses as the title. So again, we're going to click here 
choose a chart element. We want a chart title. And let's see where it says to do it. We want it above chart. That's good. Here's our chart title. And we want January to April expenses by category. January to April expenses by category. Okay, that takes care of that. Change the short colors to monochromatic palette two. All right, so again, we click on the chart. And your only two options are chart design and format. But because we're changing the actual chart colors, I would try format first and see if we have anything that says colors in here. Well, there's nothing here that says chart colors, so it's obviously must be under chart design. It's always going to be in one of these two. So let's click on chart design and there's change colors. So it wants to go to monochromic palette two. So let's see if we can find that. Here's monochronic and palette one. So this should be palette two. Not saying it, that's palette three, so it's got to be this. Okay. That takes care of number nine. Number 10 is change the fill color of the data series in April to accent. So what we need to do is look over here. This is April. So we will just click on this here. And notice that all of the Aprils get changed. So we want to change the fill color. So let's right click on it. And choose format data series. So let's find our fill in here and it wants it to be aqua 2. So we'll just change this to aqua 2. Let's see if it did first row in the theme color. So let's see. That's aqua accent 1, aqua accent 2. Actually says six row first column. So let's just double check and make sure that that's what we had. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. So that takes care of that. Apply the currency number format to the range B13 to 3 um, F21. So here's B13. Now to F21. and then decrease it to zero so we can do it different ways we can just click on this here and then we can decrease it to zero that should take care of that now the problem is if it says custom you might get marked down so let's just change this to back to accounting and let's change it from here Okay, now it stays accounting. So be cognizant of that. If you do it through the accounting icon up here, it's going to change it to custom. So just have to be careful about that. I recommend using the arrow over here to do that. That is number 11. Number 12, we want to create a chart showing the monthly profits of the two branches. So we're going to create a donut pie chart for B25 to E26. So here's B25. Now, be careful. Do not use the total one. It only wants to go to E. So that's okay. So we're going to create a donut chart. Now, that's under a pie chart. So we're going to go to Insert. And we're going to go to Recommended Charts. And here's our donut. Enter January profit, January to April profit as the chart title. So we'll create a chart title which is already here. So let's go in and make that January to April profit. Assuming I spelled it wrong, which does not look like I did. 
as the chart title, resize and reposition it so it's on H22 to N35. So we want H22 to N35. Here's N. And let's see, let's, we'll just move it up just a bit. Okay, so that looks like that's good in the air where they want it to be. So that's everything. So we're going to look and compare everything, which everything looks good in here. Um, and you know, when you get done, compare your sheet to what you have over here. So you can see this is what we have here. That looks good. This is everything in here. So you're going to check to make sure that everything looks good. And when you're done, then submit it. That's it for this one. Hope this has helped. And please let me know if you need anything else.